everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing the weekly reads for the date shown on the title of the video so without further ado i'm going to be starting to read for the lovely scorpios scorpio i have got the cards all sorted pre-shuffled okay and this is what came out for you so the first card as always is the overall energy for the week ahead and we have the woman holding a coin okay the second card is your challenge which is trust your decisions march to the beat of your own heart and it says trust okay so i'll just go with these two cards to start with so it's got woman holding a coin here i want to say scorpio that you are going to be sitting pretty in uh, the week ahead just basically saying here i feel that some of you um i want to say trust that whatever there's a financial aspect due to be coming in okay and i feel a payout okay i feel a payout is on its way to you or there's some negotiation of money aspects going to be uh coming forward to you okay and it's saying here trust the universe is doing the right thing trust the universe is going to be sending this information in and i know that some of you may have been feeling in a vulnerable situation where you just think will i ever get to the end of this okay will i ever sort these financial issues out but it's saying with the cat here even the cat's got a bow around its neck okay and it's just saying you are going to be sitting pretty this week there is some major news coming in for the week ahead that will put a smile on your face literally a smile on your face and to trust this information because some of you mostly the scorpios that i know of okay they won't believe it it's as though unless you can actually physically feel it <laughs> like this person is here literally feel it tangible in your hands it's like to say you don't trust anything until you've actually got um you know you've received it and you can actually physically see it in your bank account or do you know what i mean or it's there in black and white that you've signed so let's have a look what the animal spirit is okay so that's your challenge for the week ahead is to trust to have trust that the information coming through is going to be uh, favorable news so the animal spirit we've got for you scorps is the, the sorry is the deer and it's the alchemical sign of earth and this is your vulnerability because you are sitting there thinking you know is you're feeling the worst really you're just feeling um as though whatever this issue is you're going to think oh there's no way this is going to come out in my favor there's no way this is going to go swimmingly well for me okay because everything that scorpio seems to do is a challenge but all it's saying is the um, challenge for you this week is to trust the universe okay they know your vulnerability. They know that you have been healing from a lot of issues that have been around you as well, Scorpio. Okay, That's why it's coming out as the earth sign to say you're grounded now. You're grounded. Trust the ground that you're on Okay, as well. Whatever this issue is, but I just want to say you're going to be sitting pretty. You are going to be sitting pretty and it's to do with financial it's, to, it's coming in to do on a financial link. So either this is increase in your income at work, you could have a promotion in your job, okay? But it's the same, trust the news that is being fed to you. And I know that, you know, you've taken on the deer energy before, the vulnerability of a deer caught in a headlight type of scenario. But it's saying, okay, you've got all this healing energy around you. We look at the four dark corners of this card as well this is like the um this is like the darkness and the hard going situation that you have been struggling you've had struggle scops okay whether this is on romantic or financial but i do feel more financial on this it's about your it's about your stability your going forward financially in your career okay but it's just saying here trust whatever is being presented this week it is good okay and it is a good outcome so that is what i get for you my lovely scorpios so i hope you have a great week and i will look forward to seeing you next time
Hello my lovely Aries, I hope you're having a good week so far. So let's have a look what cards that I pre shuffled for you that are coming out for the energies for the week ahead. The first position is your overall energy for the week and that's coming out as the Hostilities card. Okay, and your challenge to go along with that is relaxation. So when I looked at this Aries, okay, the Hostilities, I felt it was though these were the battles that you have been dealing with you've had some challenges to overcome but it's saying here you can now put the sword down you can take the helmet off okay you can take the protective guards down because we've got the relaxation card here on the back of this card it reads allow yourself to be lazy it's okay to do nothing okay and I just want to say here that for the week ahead, the challenges, the battles you've been facing, you've overcome them because it's saying you can take a deep breath now and breathe because you can, this is your challenge, you can actually relax, okay? Everything you've done, everything you've applied for or dealt with paperwork-wise that you've sent off, okay? It could be something where you've had a challenge with hostility around family. It could have been hostility around a partnership. But it's like you've done your bit. You've said your bit. You've you've battled your corner. Okay, and it's just saying, put the sword down now. You've done your bit. Time to let it go. Relax. Now, if this is a um, split up in a relationship, then it is just saying here, you know with the hostilities then it, it could have got into a bit of a volatile situation but you've said your piece leave sleeping dogs lie okay and just go with the flow that's your that is your uh challenge because i felt like the areas i was picking up with it's like you're still chomping at the bit you're still being a bit sort of um vocal you're still trying to you know um upset the apple cart and it's just saying don't be hostile forget it now just relax and allow things to take the natural flow so let's have a look what your animal card was and it is the unicorn okay so it's just saying here it's just backing it up really because the unicorn is the um the alchemical sign of the ether the spiritual realms so it's saying behind the scenes magic is being divinely um structured for you so it's like saying take a load off because the universe the magic of the universe is being put in place so you don't have to keep doing this battle okay so it's just whatever you've been really hammering tongues with whether that's a person a situation it's just saying for this week okay say no more do no more relax go with the flow and allow the magic of the universe to take effect. So, my lovely Aries, I hope you can take something away from that reading, and I will look forward to reading to you next week. Take care then. Now I'm going to be reading for my lovely Geminis. So, Gemini, let's have a look at the pre-shuffled cards that came out for you for the week ahead. And in the first position, the overall energy of the week was victory, which was a lovely card that came out for you, Gems. And it says here, nature and it says the message on the back take a walk let the beauty of nature feed your soul okay so when i looked at these two cards the victory then it says exactly what it says on the card there is something to be victorious about in the week ahead you could have made some kind of achievement you could have um, passed exams you it's just to say that there's a victory that you can be proud of okay Having the nature card here, when it says, take a walk, let the beauty of nature feed your soul, this is a challenge for you, where I feel it's saying, even though you've got this victorious um, victory, I just feel that you've put a lot, a lot of hard work in, okay? A lot, of, a lot of your time has been spent in studying and everything else, okay? So it's just saying that you need to take time off now you need to um just relax and connect back with nature 
give yourself some me time because you've been so busy, okay, and you've been working so hard. So let's have a look what your animal spirit card is, okay? And it says here, the swan. And the swan here is just, it's a mirror image really. So we've got the water element, which is emotions, okay? So you could have gone through an emotional period, a lot of stress as well to have got to this Victoria stage. But when I look at the swan here, it's just saying now things are going to be free flowing in this situation because the swan can take on double elements here. But in this setup, how I feel here, then it's just about you plain sailing, okay? Um, literally, because it's like the emotional side of things are dispelling. And if we have a look at the main centre of this card, it's all illuminated white. So it's a clear, a clean slate for you. It's as though you're going to be flowing into a brand new start, okay? And it's just saying, as I said, the challenge for you is this nature aspect where I look at the main focus of this card and it's like, let's get some me time now. It's time for... And also, I want to say, we've got two boats here, okay? Two boats and having the two swans as well. It can symbolise the meeting of a new partnership. Okay, so you could be going into partnership with somebody. You could have literally had somebody come into your life that you feel connected with. And when it's got the victory, that could be on a romantic where there's a, a new spark in a relationship just about to embark. So I've got two sides of the coin here that this, this reading could relate to. So that is what I get from these cards for you, Joe and I. I hope you can take something from that with you this week. And I'll look forward to reading to you next time. Take care, my lovelies. Now I'm going to be reading from my lovely Taurians. So Taurus, I hope you've had a good week so far. Let's have a look at the energies that are going to be around you for the week ahead. And we have the Angel of Strength. And in the position of the challenge or the unexpected, we have the power card here. So when I looked at this card, these two cards together, it was about containing a situation. OK, I just felt there was a lot of. There was a lot of stuff going on in the background that you're trying to keep a control on. And it's the angel of strength is coming around you because I do feel that this week ahead it's going to be really challenging but the position of the challenge is obviously this power card which reads on the back own your power every storm brings a fresh new beginning so it's just to say try and keep your control this week try and keep things in control you've got the strength to get through this I feel a difficult period for some of my Taurians that I've got to uh, deal with for the week ahead. Let's have a look at your animal spirit card just to open it a little bit more and it's a zebra Okay, alchemical sign of fire and it's about the black and white So there's some key issues going on this week where you have got to be literally black and white Okay, no middle ground here. You have got to stand your ground. You have got to voice your opinion Okay you have got to be the strong one here, holding the fort together. Now, this could be on a family um, situation where there's delicate situations going on, but you are sort of the one who's the, the ringleader, who's got to keep it all together and has literally got to you know, sort out the crap, basically. Um, but it's saying you've got the strength to do this. And just be mindful of the zebra here. We've got the third eye with the colour aspect. And it's basically saying you've had it tough. You're trying to deal with the black and white aspects of sorting something out. It could be that you're trying to get a parent into a nursing home or getting some um, help or assistance for somebody else. It's like you are trying to be the master of the storm, okay, controlling the storm that is around you. The storm is either a romantic situation, a career problem, okay, whatever is causing your world to feel upside down at the moment it's saying the universe is giving you the strength to deal with the situation and to deal with all the legalities of it as well with the black and white hair but just know once you've got plans in place the colour starts to come back in your world it's the right thing to do 
okay in what you're doing at the minute even though some of you feel like you haven't got the power you have okay so you've just got to either speak up say your piece okay but be that uh, conductor of that storm that is your challenge this week Taurus so I hope you can take something away from those messages and I will look forward to reading to you next week take care then now going to read for my lovely Librans so Libra I hope that you have had a good week so far we are looking at the energies around you for the week ahead in the first position here the second will be your challenge and the third is the animal spirit energy so let's have a look Libs what's coming out for you so we have the world okay and your challenge is the rest card which on the back of this card says rest and relax release guilt and make your needs a top priority okay now then libra this card here is a lovely card when i look at this card here for you the world it's as though you've had the world on your shoulders you felt like you've been burdened okay but can you see now that the world is lifting and this is what you're going through you have been through a challenge, you have been through a battle, you have felt unclear of certain situations that you that are around you, which direction to take, okay? You feel like you are walking in the darkness and your path is not illuminated. But all I want to say is, it's what you can't see, okay? Even though the clouds around you, the skies around you look so dark and gloomy, it's as though you cannot see the light hiding be behind the earth here that is shining down on you so where you feel lost and what have you and you feel like you've had the world on your shoulders it's saying your challenge is not to worry because it's it's being looked after by the universe and it's saying you need the top priority for you is to rest because your mind has just been on an overload worrying about should I do this should I do that should I finish this project? Should I finish, close this business and start another business? Should I, um, it's just all this should I, okay? And I'm just saying, should I just shut the door and just rest? And that is what I'm saying, your challenge is, you've got to rest, Libra, okay? Rest and recoup. So we have in the position of the animal spirit card is the raccoon. And... The raccoon here is the alchemical sign of earth and it's about grounding yourself. And if you look here, the, the raccoon is coming out of the darkness. It's literally like a frightened little animal here. Is it safe to come out? Am I okay to come out? Is it safe to venture out? And this is like the vulnerability that you're taking on of the raccoon. It's like um, you don't want people to see how you're feeling. You don't want people to see um how you're struggling as well for some of you okay because we've got these struggles around you this is why you feel as though the world is on your shoulders but metaphorically it's what you are manifesting yourself okay so the true reality of it is the energy around you is the burdens are lifting this week your challenge is to chatter um stop the mind chatter and rest okay quieten the mind libra quieten the mind and then the animal spirit of the raccoon is coming out for you because it's saying here okay it is safe okay you you're not alone in this darkness ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, what are you doing it's papa's on here so i've got the cat coming right in the shot hello moo come on come on move over it's all papa's on here Never work with children or animals. What are you doing? So are we supposed to read now when you're sitting right in the shot, eh? Right in the shot. You're not even in the shot, are you? Come on. It's Baba's on there. So, yes. Sit your bum right down. Moomins. Moo. Yeah, that's a camera. That is a camera. Come on. Jump off. Come on. Over here. Over here. Get down. That's it then. Ah, 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 ah. No. No. Diggings with claws. No. Jump down. It's 
so we just want to sit there, do we? So Libra, I'm going to have to resume your reading shortly once I have got rid of the cat. So Libra, we have got rid of the cat. <laughs> As I was saying, you're taking on the animal spirit of the raccoon, okay? So it is safe to venture out. It is safe to be seen. I want to say it's safe to be seen because some of you have been sort of hermits and um, putting yourself behind closed doors, okay? So that is what I get for you, my lovely. Sorry for the interruption of the cat halfway through that reading, but I'll look forward to reading to you next time. But actually thinking about it, cats are good luck, okay? So having my cat come into that reading could be just saying to you, look, you've got some good luck coming your way to rest, okay? Not to worry and just to um, go with the flow, Leaps. Just go with the flow for the week ahead. So take care, my lovelies. Bye then. So now I'm going to be reading for my lovely Aquarians. The first card is the energy for the week ahead. And we have the garden and the gate card here for you. In the position of challenge, we've got risk. And it says, take a risk. You have the power within to move mountains. Okay. So I'll go with these two cards first. So the garden and the gate here. Um, when I was looking at these cards for you, I just felt as though there was an opportunity where you're on the fence really of whether do I dip my toe into the waters on a relationship, if that's the case. This could be sort of the boy next door, the girl next door situation where I feel like some of you have got your eye on somebody and it's like, do I venture? Do I put myself forward in a flirtatious sense? And it's like you are testing the ground really of this person around you. So I do feel that there is an energy around you this week where um, a new love uh, interest could be blossoming. I also feel as well that it could be some of you uh, are looking at living further afield. So it could be that you are considering moving house, a new rental, just starting a job away from home as well. And it's like you're taking in the view, you're taking in your surroundings this week. And it's saying, the challenge for you is this risk okay it's saying take a risk you have the power within to move mountains so this is your uh, position of the challenge for this week it's a saying like you have literally climbed a mountain you've put a lot of hard work in this could be to do with a career as well as as I, as I said at the very start to do with the romantic element but it's saying here take that leap of faith okay test the water if they don't like you, then that's fair enough. But if you hadn't tried, how would you ever know? So that is the risk why you need to be taking that challenge uh, for the week ahead. The animal spirit is the sea serpent, okay, which is the alchemical sign of the spiritual realms. And the sea serpent here, it's like saying you've got your eye on something, literally from this first card here. You are focusing, you've got your eye on a position to do with work or a romantic element, but it's saying here, with the sea serpent, it's the emotional um, aspect of it, because we've got a lot of blue in this card, and it's saying here, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, but it's saying your challenge is to take the risk, you've got to dip your toe, okay, literally in the metaphorical sense, into this situation to know whether it's right or wrong for you, so big decisions this week for you Aquarius, so I hope you can take something with you uh, from that reading and I will look forward to reading to you next week take care then so my lovelies I'm now going to be reading for the lovely Sagittarians so Sag for you the first card is the position of the overall energy for the week and we have yin and yang okay the challenge is care for your body self-love and self-acceptance are the ultimate acts of self-care a lot of selves in there self-love okay so this is what you need to be doing for the week ahead the yin and the yang is about getting flow, the energy, the balance back in your life. Got a lot of blue emotional uh, here on the one side. You're transitioning from that and you're coming over to the more brighter, sunny, sunnier aspects um, of your life. Okay, Well, situations around you are a bit, be a bit more sunnier and not so hard going. But your main focus is self-love. You've got to start caring for yourself this week. It could be that you've got to get yourself ship shape. It could be that you've been in that situation um, where you haven't been at work and things are starting to, uh, you know, you've got to go back in the workplace. So you've got to get yourself looking spick and span and 
you know, you might have to be putting new clothes, but it's just saying whatever it is, you need to be putting your self-love around you this week. Let's have a cut your animal spirit card is. And we have the dragon, which is the alchemical sign of the ether. So I want to say um, you are the dragon here in the sense of the cold skin, shedding the skin, shedding the old skin, okay? Um, and also focusing, fully focused. Be focused on yourself in the week ahead because uh, you need to get this um, balance of energy coming in um, correctly because I do feel over the last couple of weeks, okay, things haven't been going to plan um, as such. And as I said before, it's very been very, very stagnant for the Sagis that I was picking up with. But just know the energy is shifting. The energy is shifting. So it's just saying, get yourself ready because once things start to move, they're going to move fast, Sag, okay? So the dragon's uh, energy is about as well... Um, breathing fire it's a fire element okay in the breathing the fire aspect as where it's saying you are going to be on point okay you want to be on point um and your tongue is going to be on fire in a metaphorical sense as in you'll be ready to say the right things okay you'll be ready to say the right things at the right time okay so that is what i'll get for you my lovely sages so i hope you can take something away uh, with that message for the week ahead and I will look forward to reading to you next week take care so I'm now going to read for my lovely Capricorns so Capricorn in the position of the overall energy for the week ahead we have the first chakra Archangel Michael and in the position of the challenge for the week ahead we have self-respect and on the back of this card, it reads the following. Respect yourself. You're the best judge of what's right. Okay. So, when I look at the first card here, the first chakra, Archangel Michael, it's showing here you've been through, <laughs> you've had some battles, okay, and you are going to be having some further battles in the week ahead. It's just saying you feel like you've been through the wars, literally. And... It's about protecting yourself. Here we have the root chakra, okay? So with the root chakra, it's about grounding yourself in the week ahead, okay? And protecting. This is what I want to I feel like. You're, you're defending yourself here. It's as though you have to stand the, your ground this week um, to protect yourself, literally, uh, from a situation that might arise around you, that may uh, you may feel hostile around people who are trying to control okay so this is the kind of energy that i'm feeling uh with these cards here for you my lovely capricorns so you are taking this is why archangel michael is around you because he's there to give you the extra strength because i feel that some of you need an extra boost this week as well but it's saying here respect yourself you're the best judge of what's right so it's like to say don't listen to what other people might tell you they might say you know, oh, you need to do this or you need to do that or you should do what they tell you. No, you do exactly what you think in your own mindset, okay? Because if we have a look at the picture on this card, it says here, self-respect. And this is what I feel that the cards are saying to you, okay? I want to say you are this sort of mermaid, like a, but I want to say like a fish out of water. This is how you may feel. You may feel like a fish out of water to do with a situation that is around you. Because I feel that with this deluge here of this water that is coming down onto the mermaid in this artwork. It's like to say because of other people around you, they are causing you this emotional upset. They are sort of on the attack they are just trying to bully you, really. I want to say bully uh, for some of you as well in the week ahead. So I also want to say as well, you could have to be um, defending or fighting or helping to um, defend somebody's corner. So this might not be yourself. This could be that you are there trying to help and assist somebody who um, has turned to you for advice and 
you may just help them through an emotional period as well. But I do feel that this really is talking about yourself. You are the warrior. You are the protector of yourself. Gain your self-respect back this week, okay? Do what you think is right. Don't always take somebody's, um, even if it's a professional opinion, okay? Say if somebody phones you up and says, you need to come back here or you need to do this or... Do you know what I mean? I, I just feel like you might get influenced by people and it's saying Archangel Michael is around you to say, I can fight my own battles. I know what I wish to do for myself. Okay? So this was quite a really strong message that I felt was coming through for you, Capricorn. So the next card that comes out is the Animal Spirit card. And for you this week, we have the Vulture. And it's the air, um, sorry, the alchemical sign of air. Now this is the this is not you. This is the energy that is around you for the week ahead. These are the metaphorical sense, the vultures that are going to be trying to attack you. Okay, swooping in around you, um, trying to say to you, you need to do this, you need to do that, and control. Okay, they are there, ready to try and do their best to attack you this week in a metaphorical sense. Whether that is, like I said, um, fear-mongering or anything along those lines, really. But I just feel that you just to be mindful that you have this vulture energy coming in around you. With the air sign, it could be communication. So you could have letters come in, um, you know, sort of trying again to uh, cause upset on your behalf. And you're thinking, no, just stand your ground. That's why we've got the first chakra here, the root chakra. Get yourself grounded, stand your ground and attack, okay? And attack whatever is going to come into you this week um, because you know best. You are your own best judge and jury for the week ahead, Capricorn. So I hope you have a lovely week, my lovelies. I just want to put a shout out for, when I look at this picture, it reminds me of one of my subscribers named Robbie. I know that you've had um, a nasty accident by trying to save a pigeon, bless you, where you've ended up um, with quite a serious injury to your hand. And I just want to wish you um, get well wishes from me and I hope you feel better soon, my lovely. And do what these cards are telling you, okay? If these vultures, these people that come round you trying to say, you need to do this, just be your own self-judge, which I know you are, my lovely. But I just wanted to put a shout out to you and I hope you get better soon. So I am going to move on, my lovelies. Now I'm going to be reading for the lovely water signs of Cancer. So Cancer, the first card is the energy that is around you for the week ahead. And we have the healer of the ages. And this comes out with your challenge position of charge forward, be willing to make mistakes. And it says progress. Okay. So for the week ahead for you, healer of the ages. I just felt a couple of things when I looked at this card for you, Cancer. Some of you have um, got some burning ambitions this week that you want to try and get into progress okay hence the progress card but when I look at the healer of the ages as well it's as though some of you have got all these creative ideas have got this um, burning ambition that you want to start to sort of manifest or get into place but it's saying here um, it could be that you've got all these ideas but you're not really doing anything with them so your challenge this week is to start getting things into place, hence start the progress, okay? Start the process on its way. The healer of the ages as well, I feel that you could be helping somebody around you in the week ahead that needs some assistance, okay? Uh, whether that's just to check in on somebody that they're, they're doing okay, um, so you could actually be uh, giving guidance and assistance to somebody uh, this week as well. I'll just have a look at the animal spirit that comes out for you, Cancer. And it is, yeah, the animal spirit of the lion, which is the alchemical sign of fire. So we have all this fire in the first card here. 
So I do feel that um, passions are alight as well this week. It could be that some of you have engaged recently, um, made friends with somebody that sort of gives you this um, sort of feeling that you haven't felt for a long time of, you know, that little spark of chemistry that um, you may have engaged with somebody of late. And if it is on a romantic, then I do feel that will progress, okay? That will progress if it is somebody who's just come into your life that you have met recently. And it's just saying here that the chemistry was there, okay? The spark of chemistry was there. And it's just saying here, I want to say for the challenge though, if that is the case on a romantic, not to chase after them. Be like the lion and take on that uh, persona of, I'll just sit here, I'll survey, and just wait for them to contact you. So don't sort of be the chaser as such, okay? So that is what I felt on the romantic side of things as well for Cancer. But mainly the week ahead for you, um, I just feel you're healing yourself as well. For the first time in a long time, you feel like you've got your mojo back, okay? And you are ready to get back in the saddle and start to progress with your life and start to act on things that make you happy okay and having the strength now and the fire element is the passion you seem to have got your passion back um, and wanting to do things okay so that is what i get for you cancer so i hope you have a great week ahead i am now going to be reading for the lovely piscians so pisces for the card for the energy for the week ahead is anxiety and your card in the challenge position is count your blessings a grateful heart attracts more joy love and prosperity and we have the blessings card so first of all we take the anxiety card this is the energy that is going to be around you for the week ahead so you could be taking on this um anxiety, depression type of energy, okay? But what I want to say is your challenge though is to is it's saying blessings. So it's about saying it is literally saying count your blessings. You could be having this energy this week of um doubting yourself, sort of putting yourself under the microscope, being the judge and jury to yourself, you know, saying if only I'd have done this or I could have done that and one thing and another. And it's like, this is what's causing the anxiety around you. But it's saying, don't be too hard on yourself this week, okay? Like the message on this card says here, a grateful heart attracts more joy, love and prosperity. So you've got to get out of this negative energy, this self-dwelling type of energy that I'm feeling that some of my Pisceans may have been trapped up in over the last couple of weeks. So let's have a look what the animal spirit card is coming out for you. And we have the crocodile, which is the alchemical sign of water. Now, when I look at this card, I don't feel like this is your energy, but I feel it's an energy of someone around you. I feel that there's somebody around you who is aware of how you have been feeling, but not been saying anything. They are keeping a watchful eye on you of late. Now, this could be somebody in your workplace, somebody close in your family or friends uh, network who are concerned, literally concerned about your health, concerned about your well-being. But for now, they have just been watching you from afar. Um, but I do feel that somebody, okay, if it is somebody in your workplace, may literally say something to you in the week ahead and say, look, you're struggling, come and talk to me, let's talk through this. And that is why the challenge of count your blessings um, comes into the challenge position because it's saying a grateful heart attracts more joy. So I feel like it's just saying here, you need to maybe open your heart up as well this week. So that could be a challenge for you where I feel that there is somebody around you, okay, who's not saying anything, but very, very observant about your, your, um, your mood, your, they just feel like it could be, that with the crocodile energy, because crocodiles are very snappy, aren't they, when they do um, open their 
you know, to go for a tack or what have you. So it could be that you may take on the crocodile energy and the fact that you could be very snappy around people as well, if that is the energy for you. But I feel more of it's somebody around you who's taking on that um, energy and watching you, okay? So this week, it's just to try and say to you, try and dispel as much as you can the negative energy. Stop um, meeting your troubles halfway because you do all you're doing is causing stress and anxiety. And it's like saying, count your blessings because you have got friends and you have got a support network there. You just need to tap into it, okay? Open your heart and maybe have a heart-to-heart -heart with somebody that... Um, you know, you can offload your feelings to. Okay, Pisces? So that's what I get for you. So I hope you have a great week ahead. And I'll look forward to reading to you next week. I'm now going to be reading for my lovely Leos. So Leo, the card into position of the energy for the week ahead. We have man holding a coin. Okay? And the challenge position is take the leap. Your courage will see you through. And we have the Courage card. So I feel here for some of my Leos, man holding the coin is just, I feel that some of you um, could have a controlling aspect around you this week. There may be somebody around you who is trying to control you, who is trying to um, say you need to do this, that and the other. Okay, but it's saying here, your position is to take the Courage card on. And the words on the back of this card again, it says, take the leap, your courage will see you through. So it's standing your ground, because if you look at that card there, we've got the male and the female in the lion sense, okay, lion and lioness, and this warrior figure in the middle. So some of you could be having arguments this week uh, with family or nearest and dearest. And it may be to do with about somebody's holding the purse strings here a little too tightly. And this is like you're saying no. Okay, I have a say here. I have, my voice um, has some kind of recognition. I need to, you know, it's not all about you and what you think. I have an opinion as well. So I do feel that the energy that I'm picking up with Leo for the week ahead is this sort of, if it's not somebody in your family, then it could be somebody in the workplace who are trying to control your finances. They... Um, could be saying to you oh you know we can't give you a pay rise because of the situation and what's going on it could be that you have been holding the fort as well and you feel like you need some recognition so the, you need to drum up this courage this week whatever the situation is where i feel there's this controlling aspect or somebody is trying to keep you down okay you have got to take on the challenge of this card here to defend yourself and say no actually i'm not having that okay so that is what I feel uh, for some of my lovely Leos. Then we have the cobra as the animal spirit, which is the alchemical sign of fire. So I just feel here, this is the energy that you're taking on, ready to attack, really. So I do feel there's a situation arising this week for some of you where you do need to be quite defensive, okay, and be alert and having that uh, fire energy so you could have to uh, be verbally um, you know come out quite uh, in strong with your words as I said here have the courage to speak up now if this is a romantic uh, slant on things then I do feel that there could be somebody around you coming in this week who is quite financially sound okay and they quite like you Leo but it's saying here um, you need to have the courage to sort of instigate and take part okay sort of sit up and see what they are trying to um you know that their feelings towards you are quite genuine that's if it's on a romantic okay so we've got two sides of the coin there basically so that is what i get for you my lovely leos um i want to wish haunted whispers melissa a happy birthday, the 8th of August. Okay, this is going out today. So I hope you've had a lovely day or having a lovely day, my, my lovely. So I am going to move on and I will look forward to reading to you next week, my lovely Leos. I am now going to be reading for the lovely Virgos. Virgo, the card in the overall energy for the week ahead. 
we have door to value okay the card in the position is own your magnificence the world needs your brilliance and grace okay and that's the magnificence card so door to value so there is doors opening up for you this week that could bring in extra income it could be something that you've been waiting for okay it could be a situation where um you've been waiting for some money to come in and it's saying that this is going to be uh happening this week the door to value as well could be that you are moving into a new property or a new home or a, a sort of branching out into a new aspect of a business venture but whatever it is, it's saying money is, uh, you know, coming in and f feeling abundance, really. I want to say you've put the hard work in on a project. You've put the hard work in um, on some kind of situation where you may have had to fought a legal um, battle. But it's saying here, because of your magnificence and what have you, it's paid off. OK, it has paid off. And it's this is weird not weird but it's this is uh with the card being in the challenge position of magnificence it's like to say don't put yourself down this week because whatever you've done it's to own your own magnificence the world needs your brilliance and grace and it's to say you know you need to be uh recognized for what you have done take on the gratitude that people give you this week okay so let's have a look what your animal spirit is and it's saying here it's the starfish and it's the alchemical sign of water and i want to say symbolically having the star there that is what you have been to somebody or a group or a collective you have been the star of the show virgo and it's saying here the starfish energy okay it's like you have worked your way to the top because starfish go sort of under the sand most of the time but obviously they do come to the surface okay to feed and what have you but in the metaphorical sense i am saying here you have risen to the top of your game and it's paid off or it will pay off big time this week okay so doors to value doors to opportunity it could be a new job with a lot more money coming in but just know that this week virgo is going to be a really really good week and it's saying here shine for the person you are because you have put in the hard work um you have been there you have been sort of the person who's you know been in charge of a situation and you are that bright sh uh, shiny star this week okay so you've come to the top of your game you've come to the you know the top of whatever you've tried to sort out it's paid off okay it's paid off or it will pay off big time this week so that is what i get for you my lovely virgo so i hope you have a great week ahead so my lovelies i hope you can take something away from your weekly messages uh, for the week ahead and i will look forward to reading to you next time take care then bye